PNG tubers. You've probably heard them over the past month. The best way to sum them up are they're people who have cool little avatars and have a game like Minecraft running in the background as they read comments and react. Recently, a lot of these YouTubers have been getting a lot of negativity, and I kind of just wanted to sit down and explain and give my opinion for a quick second. Now, what are PNG tubers? If you've been living under a rock lately, you probably haven't heard about PNG tubers. Good examples of people like this are Jellybean, Red Velvety, and Frostfox. People will play a game in the background while responding to comments and challenges for people. Usually these people have hyped up energy and are overall just seem like they're having fun with their community. PNG tubers have been around for a long time, many years in fact, but there seems to be a bit of a resurgence of lately. And this resurgence definitely hasn't been the most positive. In fact, people all over YouTube have been shitting on these content creators. But why? Why are people being so negative towards these creators? The negativity. A good example of recent negativity is a PNG YouTuber by the name of Jellybean, who's around 16, 17 years old, though sources differ on that. Recently, Jellybean has grown super fast, gaining over 780,000 subscribers in the last 90 days, and has amassed a huge fan base. That kind of growth is insane, especially for a kid her age. But over the past month, Jellybean has been getting a lot of hate. Why is this? Well, I'll show you. I asked Twitter to make up some holidays. These are the responses. Sub to Aoden Day, so people can sub to Aoden. I don't know, man. It seems kind of like a stupid holiday. Burger Day. I enjoy burger. You know what? I like it. It's very simple and short. Who doesn't like burgers? Sit on a couch day. You sit on a couch all day. Isn't that basically what everybody does nowadays? Jellybean has been getting a lot of flack by YouTubers and commenters saying their content is cringe and loud and f equals funny. In particular, this irks me. Think about this for a quick second. You were 17, 16 once, right? We were all cringe around that age. Stupid things we did as teenagers and stupid memes we shared that we'd probably lie awake at three in the morning thinking about, honestly. My God, was it actually true for me. Um, I first started doing video editing when I was in high school. To show you an example, I'll, I'm gonna show one of my old clips. Like, <laughs> this was not my peak time. And thus, Today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I sold my soul a long time ago. Now I can say for certain Jellybean's content isn't definitely for me, but doxing someone by leaking their face, address, etc. It's not really okay, and you have no right to be on any media platform if you cause that sort of toxicity. Think about it like this. She's literally just a kid. I'm not gonna say it wasn't stupid that she put spam content all over YouTube, and every creator has a mistake. So I wouldn't be completely shocked if I even made stupid decisions like that, if I had growth that sudden. But doxing a 17 year old? Like, come on. Imagine the trauma that can cause for somebody, like, of that age. Being scared that you have all your personal info leaks and the constant fear of anything you do in your personal life being posted online by strangers. This is just one example of YouTubers shitting on PNG content creators. Like, look at this crap. This is not constructive criticism and seems more like, let's hop on this uh, hate train and get as many views as possible to bully this young content creator. Yeah, that's definitely how you want to introduce somebody. The thing, PNG tubers are making content they enjoy. Why is it hurting you? The thing is, it's not. It's literally not hurting you at all. And people like this need to have a wake up call. YouTube is a platform where you can share anything, anything, and tape anything, and upload it in a snap, as long as it's in the content guidelines. Content can be aimed towards all kinds of people, sometimes for younger audiences. Disliking content doesn't give anybody, and I mean anybody, the right to harass a creator. All in all, from what I researched, PNG YouTubers are a very interesting category of creators, and I think their content isn't my thing, but then again, I'll restate it, it's not aimed towards me, but rather more towards kids who are on YouTube. It's crazy to me that people get so, like, unbelievably worked up over someone creating content they love and content they want to make. People need to grow up and move on. We aren't in the era of 2013 YouTube creators doing Minecraft mod showcases and have reached a new generation of YouTube. One vastly different from years and years ago. Change happens and people need to move on.
That'll be it for this video. If you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I want to try to do more content uh, like this and, you know, try some new things out and just overall see what, you know, I can get at general audiences just by editing my videos. And I, we, both of us, yeah, both of us will catch you in the next video. Bye.